Welcome to your Race Tracks Motocross Show on AlliSports.com. It's your 450 wrap up with David Pingree and Jason Wygant from the Rockstar Energy Drink National, presented by Central Bank. I hope I got that all right for the crew. 450 class. Well, some guys beginning to establish themselves as favorites, and we thought coming in it would be all about Ryan Dungey versus Chad Reed for this championship. Not so fast. It's going to be a crazy season. Yeah, I think the guys who are going to be solid kind of proved themselves to be solid, but we also had some disappointments here today and uh, some shakeup in the points. That's right. Ryan Dungey trying to capitalize on that. Let's get to the highlights from Moto number one. First 450 moto, going to be Ryan Dungey battling it out with Josh Grant for the early lead. These two have really not raced each other very much, especially never practically at a 450. And Grant meant business, got out front early and actually opened up a little bit of a gap. Yeah, I, th I thought Josh was going to take off with this one. It looked like he had the speed, and uh, even at the halfway point, he looked strong. And uh, eventually made a mistake, and that was all it took. Yeah, Dungey had kind of reeled him back in, was putting on a little pressure, and then uh, Grant crashed in the turn after. The section where he had that huge crash last year, if you remember, when he went down and his bike ran into a pickup truck. This time the crash wasn't as bad. He got up in second and was able to hold it to the end. And then another quiet, solid ride for Andrew Short all alone in third pretty much the whole way. That's right. Shorty looked good. That was a nice setup for his Moto2 yep. ride. And uh, behind him, my guy, Ben Townley, uh, was not happy at all with his ride, the way he rode. But still, fourth isn't bad. Uh, he had a good race going with Tommy Hahn for a yep. while. Yeah, exactly. And they marched through. Mike Alessi, who again, not the same Mike Alessi that we saw at uh, Hangtown, and he would end up seventh and was actually running further forward than that in the race. Not what Mike was looking for. No, it seems like he's a little bit hot and cold, Alessi, uh, so far this year. You know, he'll either get a start and be great or doesn't and doesn't seem to be able to hold the pace. Yeah, so Alessi goes back to seventh. Brett Metcalf is sixth. And how about Matt Gerke busting through for fifth? Yeah, he showed speed last year, if you remember, in the Nationals. You know, he was missing from Supercross with a broken leg this year. But the kid's got skills outdoors, and he showed it today. All right, so he ends up fifth. Ben Talley does come through for fourth after Tommy Hahn goes down. Third's going to go to short, second to Josh Grant. And the win, once again, Brian Dungey. Four fifty moto two. Ping, you mentioned short trying to set himself up for a good overall with that third in the first moto and capitalizes moto two. He's out front. Yeah, he was looking good. You know, Shorty never won an outdoor moto in the four fifty class. Looked like it might be his chance. He was gapping everybody, had a nice little lead over Dungey, and then all of a sudden, maybe ten or fifteen minutes in, here came Ryan Dungey. I'm trying to figure out what the deals with short. We know the guy's in shape. Obviously, Dungey is as well. But we've seen this happen every time we think that moto win's going to come. Is it a mental thing you think with him? It's just hard to say. Uh, at this point, that's what you'd have to guess. I mean, I know he works hard. He trains his butt off and rides a lot, so uh, hard to guess what else it could be. And Dungey didn't even need to win the moto to win the overall because uh, he would have still had a 1-2 to Short's 3-1, but he went after Short anyway, made the pass, took off, and Dungey's going to go on to win this thing. Let's go a little bit further back here. First of all, uh, Ben Townley, pretty far back. Yeah, Ben got a terrible start. Uh, came around way back, outside the top 20 in the opening lap and just went on a tear. Got his way all the way up into sixth at one point, stalled the bike, went back out of the top 10, came back forward to sixth again, fell, and uh, went back again and, and clawed his way to sixth at the finish. Um, pretty, pretty tired by the end and pretty upset with himself, but still put himself in a position to be fourth overall in the day. Yeah, that's a whole lot better than Chad Reed, who broke his front brake and was out of the race. Yeah, that uh, that's definitely a blow to his championship hopes. Doesn't put him out of it, but Boy, it doesn't help either. No, absolutely not. So Short's going to hang on for second behind Dungey. And another guy we thought would be a contender, Josh Grant, got a front flat tire. He was up front with Dungey and Grant, or Dungey. Grant was up front with Dungey and Short rather early, and then had a front flat. Yeah, he started slowing down. He was pointing to the front, and, and when he came by, you could see front tire was flat, which uh, a lot of these guys are running moose tubes. Obviously, he chooses not to in the front. Uh, it doesn't happen very often that these guys will get a front flat, but. It cost him big in this moto. He had to pull in and change wheels. Yeah, so he lost a bunch of points there. Alessi was up front for most of the moto, went backwards a little bit, and that opened the door for Brett Metcalf to recover for third of the moto, and that would actually give him third overall behind Short and Dungey. Right edge in the Metcalf, the 24. I 
think I've always felt like I'd ride a 450 good. Uh, I haven't really had a lot of 450 action since I've been here in the States, but I did ride a 400 back when I was 16 in Australia. That's the only other time I've really raced a four, 400 or 450. So, I don't know, I felt like it would definitely suit my style. I just was really waiting to try and get that opportunity and, you know, continue to do well in the lights class for many years. And finally this year, you know, we got the opportunity to race 450 and was uh, just love it. Texas leading those laps was huge for me, but unfortunately I pushed, kind of broke game plan a little bit. I didn't want to push real hard. I knew the heat isn't been my favorite, you know, in the past. I've collapsed twice. So, um... You know, I just got excited in the lead, and I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. I think Dungey was behind me there, and I was just, you know, went a little bit too aggressive early, and, I, you know, halfway I was like, you know, where's the checkered flag at? I was, I was hurting. So I learned a lot about how to uh, pace myself better, time my race better, and, and be more in mentally, mentally in control. Yeah, it was just good for me to get a good start and end the lead. It's been a long time since I've led a race and I felt pretty comfortable until about halfway and I made some big mistakes and about that same time that's when Dungey uh, closed in on me. So just kind of tried to hop behind him, follow some of his lines, but he just uh, kind of took off. But for me, that was a, a big milestone for this season and, and a step in the right direction. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to get great starts again and, and that seems to be the key. And, uh, if I can do that, I think I'll be in a great place and uh, just to continue with this momentum. That was tough. I think uh, the track was already, the, the good dirt was kind of pushed away and where we were, uh, we were riding the, kind of the harder pack and then it started sprinkling in about four or five laps to go, six laps to go and that's the, I was, that was kind of flush. I didn't know what to do there, you know. I didn't want to not do a double, you know, because uh, if it was too sketchy and get caught by Grant or and then uh, I, was, I cased one in the back pretty hard, but it just the, the tires kind of lit up a little bit with that little bit of rain. But uh, uh, big props to the guys at Dunlop today. You know they really uh, had their you know work cut out for them, and and uh, big thanks to them. Yeah, I mean, I think you know as you can build that, you know, try to carry the momentum and, and build that little bit of uh, confidence is always good. You know, I think one one is is uh, that's the goal. You know, and and to every race from here on out, but. Uh, just you know, stay uh, stay positive, and uh, you know, keep keep grounded, and and uh, you know, try to keep pushing and keep winning these races. That's that's uh, one race at a time, and it's uh, every race is important. So just try to keep it rolling. All right, let's wrap up this 450 show. Uh, first of all, who would have thought that Mr. Consistency Chad Reed, who's won a bunch of races here at High Point, would have the worst luck of any title contender today? Yeah, it was a rough day for him. I'm not sure what happened in the first moto. He just could not find his groove. Uh, didn't get the result he wanted, gave up a lot of points in that moto. Yep. Probably looking to redeem himself in moto two, and it just didn't happen. Went out and had some type of malfunction with the brake, uh, the caliper down low, and uh, it ended his moto pretty good. Yeah, so uh, Reed out of the points completely in the second moto after a bad first moto. And kind of like Supercross, next thing you know, Ryan Dungey is the man to beat and out front of points. Yeah, big points lead for him. Uh, I think that was bit of a shock to everybody that he would at this early already have a yes, lead like that yes. you know we thought they'd have a much bigger battle and uh, you know but things can turn around in a hurry in this series all it takes is one bad weekend for Ryan and we got a race on again yeah and he's already had one and now the Reed has had a bad one it might just be that way all season long we'll be going to Bud's Creek next uh, just touch on that track real quick and what you think that might have in store for some of these 450 guys well as long as we don't have rain you know at Bud's <laughs> Creek you can get rain just like at Mount yes. Morris here but yeah. it's an amazing track I don't know anybody that doesn't love that place mm -hmm. great uh, great the way it develops, lots of lines, good for passing. So uh, I think you're going to see all the top guys again rise to the top there, and uh, we're going to have great racing. I think all it'll right. be another, another good round of the series. All right, well, join us there in Mechanicsville, Maryland, or just tune in to AllySports.com for all your information. That's your 450 show. David Pingree, Jason Wygant, thanks for watching.